Mr. Wells has passed. Where shall I take his remains? What? The Excelsior package provides for the disposal of passenger remains free of charge. I merely require a destination. I want to be with his family. Mr. Wells's closest blood relative is Guadalupe Alejandra Wells, proprietress of the El Coyote Coho Bar. I will make sure to deliver him safely. Mr. Deshawn awaits you in room number 204. See you in the major leagues, Jack. waiting WNS N54 even the pirate networks you blowing up everywhere and the jackster he out in the car yeah he's there dead Condolences, friend. And the relic. Got it right here. Hmm. I was afraid of that. What? Saburo Arasaka. Dead. You got any notion of the shit you pulled me into? You off the fucking emperor! His majesty! Anyone with so much as a pinky toe dipped in this mess is as good as dead! Gotta leave Night City. You don't say. Ring Evelyn. We close the deal, collect our cut, and drop off the radar. Alright, settle down. Gotta be tactical about this. Parker, Eddie's. Then we leave the city limits behind. But first, your face got blood all over it. Bathroom's there. Go get yourself cleaned up. Could be. Remember our first convo? I'll Seems fucking I've kill you! A quiet life after all. No blaze of glory for me. Pierce are on fire. Pacifica's caught off, shut down. ABC's on the streets of Watson. Sons of bitches! 
skull cracking out there. That us? Johnny's idea. Wayland's drawing Arasaka's attention away from the tower. Collateral damage part of the plan, too. This is the Cub Scout, Johnson. Chew it up, spit it out. Too. Bomb's name is what? Wrap it up! We got a Delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shotgun Elite incoming! There, Run for it! Shoot the cables! Done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Rogue. I'm giving you four fucking minutes. Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Loved you, Spider. Whole world loves me.
closing in on the action. Sweet icebreaker. Foreign, right? Just wonder if we know anyone who can switch the subnet protocol. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take a look. Turn now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote-unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Imbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof, quick! Johnny boy, told you I'd end you someday. Let us try once more. Your associates, who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fissile material? Hey, Gramps. I know you. Azusi. Jokusetsu Done and gone. My husband died in that tower. But there are fates worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Naze Kono Yona Koto. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness, you freak. People
And you, who are you? Heavier than he looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So, let's you and me figure this out. <laughs> to use medical attention. Do you know a Reaper Doc whom you can trust? You... You were... at... 
Welcome, Peggy Plaza. We must get to Repadoc. Quickly. Victor will fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come pick me up. I need to get to Misty's Isodzeric. In front of Vix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! To insert the jack below the ear. Though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the vein by mistake, he will die. Indeed, as he will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking! It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. How is he? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. You in there? Ah! My head. How you feeling? I don't know, Vic. Ears are ringing. But I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. So damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic. And I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. They killed me, Vic. Never been so afraid. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Saying I experienced another Psyche's memories? How's that possible? You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. Who? Me and who, Vic? Who's the other? Johnny Silverhand, the terrorist. 
Real talk of the town back in my day. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. What is? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks, tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until... one day you'll just be... gone. V, it's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't admit a thing, not one deep. Okay. There was... is a construct. A psyche on the chip. That of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. People don't just die and get up like nothing happened. Used to be true. Now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them. What about me? My psyche? I'll make it back from the other side and what? I'm supposed to pretend change is normal? Ask the Arasaka engineers who built the thing. All I know is your mind's gonna go. It won't be pretty. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me. And take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic. Inevitable. And neither of you can stop it. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old-timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly. They'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizine's from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. I gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? 
Promise you'll try to get some sleep. You're lovely, Misty. Thanks. Good night, V. Sweet, peaceful dreams. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Talking. How the fuck should I know? The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! <laughs> Who you work for? Start talking! Fuck. No, wait! Oh. I'll take control. I'll find a way. You hear me? You never, asshole. Now like that! Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger! I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Kill you! Do it. What are you waiting for? Oh, fuck me. Camera here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. 
Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. I haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Dider, I am waiting. not to look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You're thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness he get in corporal agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? Hmm. <sighs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think... They'll trust the word of a merc. I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it.
花子様お会いできて光栄ですこちらこそなお花子様 I would first like to ask you fucking sucker scums everywhere hey I was listening to that shut up nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt what did you say you heard me let it go Takamura At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Mean to say you worked for Suburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the high and mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. 
Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogel danced any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't tell you again. Can we meet. Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Got a good memory for faces. Bar's closed. Sorry, Chu. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? Whoa, whoa, start again. What is it you want us to do now? Beat some sense into it. Judy's embarrassing her. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to say back here. You done with that bagulio? Yep. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist? Seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. Caught some lead myself, too. Boo-hoo. Occupational hazard for you, Mercs.
Sure, I took a risk. We all did. But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. Writing's on your face. Okay, let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clipped during the heist is killing me. Albeit slowly. Evie commissioned the job. I know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Hmm. Let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. Where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. Luxurious. Wait. Fine, how did you away? Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what? No, pleased to meet you? I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz, call me. Way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. If I miss this time, enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. I think Judy's lying. Why? A little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. So hold on. You take the blow up doll, dream all the hole, and, and that's cheating. That's it down. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second.
matches. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? I think an angel looks good. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. Looking for Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. Not here to pay and play. Just want some info. Ah, unfortunately, that we do not sell. Should you change your mind, Come back. All right, I changed my mind. I'll pay. Temptation is often too strong to resist. Please jack in. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Angel awaits you in booth six. Disconnect, please. That it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs Thank for you. you. We Sad. hope you enjoy your stay. Go eat a dick, Johnny. I guess that makes you a... Vincent, right? I'm Angel. You're Angel. Sure, why not? Do what you do best. I know that you're dying. Listen, I'm looking for someone who worked here. Evelyn Parker. Know her? Know where she is? You must see the big picture. You focus too much on details, minor ones, like Evelyn. Please don't act like you know me. I just want some answers. But are you asking the right questions? How can you change what has already happened? Afterlife. What? What happened? You interrupted the session? Did I do something wrong? W were you not satisfied? Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Wait just a sec. That's not how this works. You can't ask me about the dollhouse or anything like that. I could get in serious trouble. Go. Please, just go. You gotta help me, please. I'm no threat, and she could be in trouble. Just want to talk to her, find out if she's okay. Look, I barely knew her, and I have no clue where she is. Nobody came looking for her. Nothing out of the ordinary happened. There was an incident with a client. I don't know the specifics. One doesn't ask about these things around here. Tom might know. He and Evelyn were close. Go ask him. And please leave me alone. 
Tom, who's he? Friend of Evelyn's. Wasn't a free moment they weren't together. Where'll I find him? He's a doll here. Works the VIP area, booth two. Thanks. Sheesh. Don't ask for me again. Ever. Not bad. But it was... I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every... You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Let's get this party started! Ha ha ha! Relax, you're not in trouble. Just want to talk for a little. Where's Evelyn? Need to talk to her urgently. It's important. Well, are you mad at her or something? No. Know where she is or not. Uh, she's not here. Tried calling her more than once, no answer. Heard she was chipping a new faceplate in a clinic in Osaka. No, no, Oslo. That was it. Evelyn tell you personally she was going away? Um, no. Just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest, but we all call him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. Who is he? Um, he's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man. Keep calm. I'm looking for a girl. Okay, 
camp. Interesting word choice for someone who plowed through, massacring all along the way. Things got out of hand, I'll admit. But cooperate, and no one else will get hurt. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Just scan the truth from his gray, lifeless eyes. Scour his cop. That just might work. Sold her off to a ripper. Ship was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toys wet dream. to return your weapons, even though I'd rather not.
Nice work back there. Ever thought of applying for the diplomatic corps? You think Fingers got her? Think we'll find her there? V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. You think Fingers got her? Think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. <laughs> of course you do. You'd have loved to have dropped the H-bomb in this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Claus won't forget this. You had a plan. You tried. It fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find Hellman. Ah, oh, fuck! What the hell's that? No, 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 no. Damn, it. damn it. Jesus, what the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half-century-old score neat settling, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. Never been recruited into a terrorist cell before. Feel Listen, I know actually. things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Saka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. Feeling a bit better now, so scram. Got something important needs doing. One last thing. Alt Cunningham. She's the ace up my sleeve. Fuck off. I'm tired of hearing your voice. Don't blame you, but you'll hear me yet. And don't get killed in the meantime, will ya?